What is a polygon? In science and math, you'll run into many technical words that start with poly. Here's a hint that will help you remember terms in all these subjects. When you see a word starting with poly, think of many. Many what? Well, that depends on the end of the word. A couple of common ones you see in math are polynomials. And that's for many terms. And polygons, in this tutorial, many angles, or can also be thought of as many sides. In this tutorial, we'll discuss the details that will help us define a polygon. Let's start off with a definition, our criteria. A polygon is a plain figure that is bounded by a finite chain of straight line segments closing in a loop to form a closed polygonal chain. Hmm, sounds a bit technical. But let's just do some examples to get a feel for this, checking each of our examples with our criteria. First example, is this a polygon? Well, we recognize this as a triangle. So, is a triangle a polygon? Yep. Three lines closing a loop, that is, no gaps in the boundary. It fits the bill, follows our criteria. A triangle is a polygon. Next example. Is this a polygon? Well, we recognize this as a circle. So, is a circle a polygon? Well, it's definitely closed. That is, there's no gaps in the boundary, but there are no lines. Remember that lines are straight, and this whole boundary is curved. Thus, a circle could not be a polygon. It doesn't fit the criteria. So is this one a polygon? We can see that it has a bunch of sides, six sides, which we'll learn later is a hexagon. Now, it's a lot like a circle in that it's closed, except the sides are lines, six of them. So, it does fit the criteria for a polygon. A hexagon is a polygon. Is this one a polygon? Well, we recognize this as basically two triangles put together at the ends. Does that make a polygon? It's definitely made up of lines, so that's good. But we notice that the lines cross in the middle, so it's not a loop. Thus, each of the triangles on their own would be considered polygons, but together as one shape, this does not fit the criteria for a polygon. Is this a polygon? We recognize this as a bordered arrow. So is a bordered arrow a polygon? Well, it's made up of lines, so that's good. We also notice that it's completely closed, no gaps, and nothing's crossing. So it's a loop. Thus, a bordered arrow is a polygon. One last one. Is this a polygon? Well, it's another arrow, and it looks much like the previous example, and it's made up of lines, but it's missing a border over here. Therefore, it's not a closed loop. It doesn't fit the criteria. This one is not a polygon. In this tutorial, we looked at polygons. We used our definition of polygons to consider a number of shapes. Some were determined to be polygons, while others weren't. In the end, we have a pretty good feel for how to recognize a polygon.